And Mike Ashley, the sport's direct founder and majority shareholder, has stepped in to rescue the job of his embattled chairman. Keith Hellowell survived a second re-election vote today, but only by relying on Mr Ashley's voting rights. In a rerun of a ballot at last September's annual meeting, 54% of independent shareholders voted against Dr Hellowell's reappointment. Mr Ashley's backing ensured his survival. Well, Paul Lee is head of corporate governance at Aberdeen Asset Management, an institutional investor in Sports Direct that had publicly called for Keith Hellowell to go. So, Paul, Keith Hellowell said last year that if he didn't get the support of independent shareholders, a majority of them, this September's AGM, he would go. Mike Ashley's asked him to reconsider that. What on earth's going on? I, I think that's a slightly surprising um, statement for the company to make and, and probably not terribly helpful. I think, I think what everybody should be focused on is what can and should be delivered over the next eight months before the AGM comes around. So what should be delivered? Well, the, the company's made a, a commitment to, to have an independent review on, on working practices on its corporate governance. It's talked about uh, addressing a, a lot of the findings on uh, its treatment of workers that, that have come out of the existing review. It, it's talked about adding a, a worker representative to the board. That's quite a controversial um, idea, but if any company could, could do with one of those, I think people would generally agree that Sports Direct could do. Most importantly, they, they need to, to upgrade the executive team, have uh, a team in place that is genuinely able to run what is now a, a large and complicated business and, and take that forwards for the benefit of all shareholders. Yeah, I mean, Mike Ashley has already announced some changes along, along that front. Uh, has that gone far enough for you? Clearly not, I guess. I, I, I don't think it has gone far enough. I mean, the, the, the steps that have been taken so far are the parting of the ways with the, the former chief executive and the former inter interim finance director. Mm. That's helpful. Um, we, for, for one shareholder, voted against their re-elections at the, at the last AGM because we'd lost confidence in their ability to run the business. We think that the, um, the team needs to be bolstered from here to, to enable them to, to actually take things forward. It was quite striking, though. I mean, 54% of independent shareholders today voted against Dr Hellowell's appointment. That leaves 46% that, that went along with him. Was that, did that surprise you? I, well, it, it's pretty much a repeat of the, of the vote at the, at the AGM, almost to, to the last numbers. I, I, do, I find it slightly surprising, but, but I think it's, it's not a personal issue. This, this is an issue about the, the way the company is run overall. Um, in a sense, the, the vote on Hallowell's become a rallying point for, for shareholders, but actually it's, it, we, we should depersonalise it and talk about running the business as a whole and, and addressing the, the broader issues. I mean, a lot of people have to have Sports Direct shares because they're tracking an index or whatever. I mean, you're, you're an active fund manager. Why on earth do you hold uh, them? We're, we're an active fund manager, but we have a, a pretty sizable passive business these days. And, and uh, you know, the, the company doesn't meet our quality thresholds. We, we wouldn't hold it as it stands uh, in, in the active portfolios. We, we only hold it uh, on the passive side. Right. I think a lot of people like us have have our only shareholders because they are obliged to be rather than right. because they've taken the active decision and and actually the company's under owned as a result in in that sense mm -hmm. and and what they need to deliver over the next several months is reasons for people to want to be shareholders because a cynic would say paul that you know most shareholders most city investors sat back and uh, enjoyed the ride when the share price was going up and profits were rising it's only really since the uh, share price has started to fall and profits have dropped that I, the I've, corporate governance has been called into question. I, I've certainly heard that. I, I personally went to, to the company's first AGM when it, when it became a public company, uh, however many years ago that is now. Um, we've been acting act, uh, active for many years in trying to improve the governance here. We seem to have got traction in the, in the last little while and, and things are changing over, over the last few months. Some changes have been made. Lots more still needs to be done.